On the golf course in Hawaii, the US president had his sights set firmly on the green. Back in Washington, attention was on North Korea. US Treasury officials announced sanctions against it for what they described as provocative, destabilizing and repressive actions. And this is why. A spoof film about an attempt to kill the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, which outraged Pyongyang. Just days before its release, there was a cyber attack on Sony Pictures. Threats led to its nationwide release being cancelled, with just a few small cinemas showing it instead. The White House believes the communist state was responsible, but North Korea denies being involved in the hacking and the threats. So who exactly are these sanctions by the US Treasury targeted at? One of the organizations is the Reconnaissance General Bureau, that's North Korea's military intelligence agency. The other two are defense companies, Korea Mining Development Trading and Korea Tangan Trading, both linked to North Korea's weapons program and both have been sanctioned before. Last week, North Korea suffered lengthy internet outages, which they blamed on the United States. The sanctions by Washington on top of those already in place over North Korea's nuclear weapons program. This is believed to be the first time the US has tried to punish another country for cyber attacks on an American company. But the effect of these sanctions could be limited, given North Korea's isolation from the world and the small size of its economy. Richard Forrest, BBC News.